Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Authentic Info Podcast. I'm your host, Admar Sandelichow. A lot of us are asking ourselves a question as to why does the DA underperforms in rural areas and in townships? The DA doesn't receive support uh, like the way it does in the Western Cape, the way it performs in terms of numbers in the Western Cape. It seems like the people of Western Cape uh, are fine with the DA, but the DA itself fails to uh, reach all other corners of South Africa. And uh, I always ask my question as to what is it that might be motivating a lot of people not to consider the DA as a political party uh, that can represent their interests. But it is number two in terms of uh, opposition parties. It is the official opposition and it is n- number two political party, the second political party in terms of numbers in South Africa and representation in parliament. Who is voting for the DA? Because we know that in terms of uh, numbers and race, white people in South Africa, it's not all of them who agree with the DA. And a lot of, uh, I mean, they might, I'm convinced that even within the minority white people, it is uh, not the majority that supports the DA because they also have their VF+, plus. they also have their all other white parties. So my question is, who is supporting the DA? Why is the DA number two? And who is voting for the DA? And and where do these people come from? Because in terms of black support, I think the DA is not doing good. But, and we're told that in South Africa, white people are a minority. But the DA happens to be number two in terms of support and representation in parliament, political. So that is a question. And in the majority of the rural villages, the DA is not seen anywhere. It is not active. In universities and colleges, it is underperforming. It is not there. It is not competing. So, which means even young people, uh, young academics, do not agree with the DA. So, where does the DA get its support? I mean, the ANC has long been accusing of rigging elections, but we have never heard such when it comes to. DA and DA support. Recently, it's worse. DA is no longer giving their strategic positions and senior positions of leadership to black people, which means black support is gone. We know that a lot of political parties has been formed and branched out from the DA. BOSA, which is led by Musimai Mane, it has good numbers. It has support on the ground. And uh, 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 Action SA of Hemen Mashawa, has good support, although now uh, is, uh, Action SA is accused to be a mini DA. So we don't know what happened, what made the man to go back into proposing co- possible coalitions for 2024 with uh, a political party that he once spoke bad about and the leaders are still there. So I don't know what changed in terms of policy positions it at in the action sa because he says that uh, action sa is a pol- i mean the da is a political party that does not represent the interest of black people and Mus- i mean and uh, we saw him and mashava going back to kiss the devil so we don't know what's going on and uh, it's quite questionable i mean the da and the ANC should be accused of uh, similar crimes of rigging because there are no known numbers of the da in townships, uh, we know that there are some clever blacks uh, who think that they are well off, they are educated, and thinks that the little problems that they have can only be solved by association with whiteness or white people, as other political party leaders uh, label these people. For example, the e leader of the EFF, Julius Malema, says that there are some uh, uh, black, I mean, some clever blacks who. Uh, feel like the, the whiteness is the only solution to the problems that are faced by black people in South Africa. Maybe these are the people who are giving the DA votes, but where do they get the numbers? I mean, uh, even if you can walk on the street, how many people are going to meet who are wearing DA t-shirts, who speak the language of DA, who even understand DA policy? Because a lot of uh, uh, black South Africans only understand what Uh, the ANC stands for and what the ANC is failing to achieve. Uh, And they speak about the EFF in terms of its policy position, in terms of its policy position and uh, 
cardinal pillars. Everyone is aware. So uh, a lot of uh, black people are not aware of what is the policy, policy position of the DA. So I wonder who goes to vote for the DA uh, when it, it's time for elections. Uh, I'm surprised. Maybe a lot of you, even the viewers are also surprised as to where does the DA get the numbers? Because in all other provinces, they underperform. Why do they uh, get uh, numbers that gives them more than 20% of, uh, of parliamentary uh, seats? Where do they get these numbers? Where do these numbers come from? If it is true that what we are told that white, white uh, people in South Africa are a minority and they constitute less than percent in terms of uh, race, then it means we are sold a different story. Other than that, it means a lot of black people are betrayers. They betray their political parties. And why do they not give their votes to other political parties that are led by black people and decide to give uh, their votes to uh, uh, the DA? I mean, even in local government elections, the DA does not emerge victorious in a lot of townships and uh, villages. It is only the ANC, and now we see the EFF coming to the party. Uh, these are the only political parties that receive majority support. Even in KwaZulu Natal, where they are trying to push Chris Papas, I mean, it's IFP and ANC playground, and the, the EFF is trying to emerge. So, where do they get the national votes? Because I'm surprised. I mean, we're preparing. Uh, to to I mean to to vote for the general elections in 2024, and my question is, uh, with the number of political parties that have emerged that have been formed, and uh, the, the, the 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 support of the DA that has uh, been divided through the, uh, the, the 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 formation of new political parties in the previous five years or in the current administration. What's going to happen to the DA? Maybe now the numbers will start to speak because when Bo Hemen Mashaba opened their political parties, they move with their numbers. When Bo, uh, uh, this Busa leader, Musmaiman, opened his political party, left with a lot of black people from the DA. So where will they get the support? I mean, even on the ground, uh, we don't see greater support uh, for the DA. And I wonder uh, why uh, do they still have these uh, large numbers in terms of general elections and so on. But uh, another question or the true question that I wanted to pose, which I, I think I've been deviating from, is to why don't they perform in uh, look in, 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 in townships and villages in terms of numbers and whenever they get a chance to lead, they fail dismally. Uh, I know there are political analysts who say that uh, it is a sabotage. For example, Prince Marshall, he says that DA is being sabotaged and he believes that any political party that will take power from the ANC is going to face the similar problems with the DA. Because whenever the DA, wherever the DA took power from the ANC, it, it underperformed. And uh, maybe that's the case of sabotage where administrative work and experienced uh, people are people of the ANC who are undetected in particular positions and they sabotage the administration thereof. We never know. But uh, the DA has never come forth to clear such issues but we know that now they are struggling in terms of the numbers that is why they say uh, they must stop focusing on the ANC and focus on the EFF because the EFF is coming for them and so on so there's a lot happening but uh, when these political parties accuse the ANC of rigging elections they must not overlook the DA because the DA has great numbers but we don't know where does this number these numbers come from. This is Authentic Info Podcast. These are just my views. Let us engage in the comment section and don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell. Let us grow together. Thank you.